Hello everyone! This is Prem from the Magical Caravan of Ecstatic Health. Okay, so I want to share with you this absolutely incredible tea. I wasn't planning to do this video, but I felt so good after the tea that I was like, I must share. I am selfish if I don't share. So, it's very simple. It's a, a base of fresh herbs. So you've got organic thyme organic rosemary, sage, oregano, and then cayenne tincture or powder or fresh, however you want to take it, or another chili, but chili is important. Um, and then finally, it's optional, but I added a bag of Tulsi, three Tulsi tea and as well as a tea bag of Damiana tea from the Amazon. So, um, this is powerfully working on your heart. So, for example, the rosemary is well known to be a heart stimulant and heart opening. And when you look at its chemical composition, it has a very high amount of vitamin C, which would correlate with the heart, but beautifully combined with thyme, which is one of the highest food sources of, of iron. When I do my research, I don't find many foods higher in iron than thyme. And together, vitamin C and iron chelate together, and then they're absorbed. And so it's very good for the heart. Cayenne is well known as the most amazing thing for the heart. I mean, if you're going to have a heart attack, Dr. Schultz says that if you're having a heart attack and you take cayenne within 30 seconds, that it can resuscitate your heart. Um, and you feel that. You feel that. Circulation and heart, which are very linked, um, you take cayenne and it's just super, super boosts it out of the out of the stratosphere. So, so you add these fragrant aromatic herbs, which are very powerful. There's, there's no, as far as I'm concerned, there's no more powerful medicines than these aromatic herbs. I mean, oregano, you might know, is one of the most antibacterial things on the planet. Um, oregano and thyme and sage and rosemary are very good for the lungs. Um, and then with that, I've added Damiana, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's known as an aphrodisiac, and anything that's an aphrodisiac means it's incredibly healthy. That's what it means. Um, it's an aphrodisiac, and it's also good for the lungs. It's also very aromatic, um, and it makes you feel good. Anything that cures depression, like Damiana does, is incredibly good for you. <laughs> It's very simple, really. Um, so you add cayenne to that. And don't forget, then, either some raw honey or blackstrap molasses is incredible sweetener. Absolutely amazing. Forget about raw food. Forget about these concepts. Obviously, raw food is, is the best food ever for you. But it's not about raw or not. That's one aspect. Of course, we shouldn't have all cooked food. In fact, we should have mainly raw. But teas are incredible. They're incomparable to raw food in their own way. Um, so yes, some of the enzymes might be destroyed by pouring the hot tea onto fresh herbs. But my God, something else is released. And don't talk about it until you try it and tell me how you feel. Because I felt a little bit low before. And literally, the cayenne just injects all that aromatic, powerful medicine throughout your body. And especially in your heart. It strengthens your heart for the winter. And you can just go out and be warm. And you won't be cold. Like, um... Yeah, so th that's it, basically. Fresh oregano, fresh thyme, fresh sage, fresh... Um, There's a really important one that I've missed. 
fresh rosemary. God, that's one of my favorite herbs. Fresh rosemary. Then you've got Damiana, three Tulsi, honey, and or molasses. Very important. Don't be scared about sugar. Of course, don't have refined sugar and tons of honey. But honey is, is a, again, it's a super carrier of medicinals. If I didn't put the honey in there, it, it, this, somehow the tea would be dead. Um, so let's come back to our heart and actually feel what's going on rather than parrot concepts which actually hurt our heart because we disconnect from it. Um, so I'm just sharing what works for me. Please try it because it's very simple. If all you have is oregano and some rosemary in your garden or in the shop and you add a bit of cayenne powder to that and some honey or some blackstrap molasses, try that. Oh, and have it around midday to two or eleven to three at the latest um, span of time because that in Chinese medicine is heart time. So please have it at that time because it will have ten to a thousand times more effect. And that is scientifically proven. That if you take it uh, medicinal at the right time, it makes all the difference. You might as well not bother taking it in the evening, this tea. Don't bother. That there's another tea for the evening. And we'll get to that. There's... There's, in fact, there's eternal different teas you can take in the evening. But this one is for midday. When your heart is pumping at its height and the sun, which represents your heart in the solar system, it's the center of the solar system, is at the height of the sky at midday. You see, nothing is random. The universe loves you. The universe is you. You are love. So... Please try this tea and let me know what you feel. The magic is in the simple things. Thank you.